Okay, so in this video, we're gonna tackle our second project, which is gonna be a custom vacuum nozzle. Right, so it's designed to fit over my Dyson vacuum cleaner, and we can add whatever kind of head we like to it. So let's get started. I'm gonna start a new design. I'm gonna save it as vacuum nozzle. And once again, we're gonna start by creating a sketch on the bottom plane. Now in the last video, we used dimensions. This time I want to show you an option that is available to you. You can come up to modify and we're going to go change parameters. Now user parameters are like global variables that we can use throughout our design. So we're going to come up here, name vacuum nozzle diameter and my vacuum nozzle is 32 mils. You can use this variable as many times as you like in your design and change it once and it will propagate those changes if possible all the way through. To get that profile, I'm going to go create circle center circle which means C and I'm going to go vacuum nozzle diameter what it fills for me press enter and there it is and you can see now that's a function the other thing you can use parameters for is setting dimensions according to some formula right now if I were to make my nozzle exactly 32 mil then I would have to rely on the printer being 100% accurate now we know that's not true so what we're going to do is add some tolerance and again I'm going to come up here because I might use this a couple of times going to add some more parameters and I'm going to say tolerance. Now on my printer I know that if I do a tolerance of 0.2 mil then I'm going to get quite a tight friction fit. 0.4 mil is starting to get a little bit loose and anything over that I will kind of just slide off. You're going to have to explore things with the printer that is available to you to work out what kind of tolerance to use. You're okay. And once again C for circle and I'm going to come up here I'm going to say vacuum nozzle diameter plus the tolerance. Now the only reason I've done that is because we're about to use an offset to get some thickness to my walls, but Fusion 360 won't let you do an offset on an offset, right? It wants you to start a new line. So we're going to select our outer line here, offset, and we'll just add three mils of thickness because that's nice and strong on my printer. Go okay. Now we're about to extrude this, but a handy little tip, if you drag a box up and to the right, only what is completely contained in that box will be selected. Whereas if I drag up and to the left, anything the box touches will be selected. Press E for extrude, and I'm gonna come up to the 80 mil. Cool, there it is there. Now you wonder why I haven't made a hollow yet, and that'll come clear very soon. Coming back to my original design, you notice that the top profile is just a rectangle, but it doesn't start from top of that cylinder, it's actually floating above. So to do this, we're gonna use a thing called a construction plane. Just like we have construction lines, we have construction planes. If I come up to here and construct, we got an offset plane. I can choose where I offset it from, and that's gonna come up by 20 mil. Right, there are lots of different options on how you can do that, it makes it very flexible. So when I create my new sketch for that rectangular profile, I'm gonna put it onto that new plane. And even though it looks like I'm drawing onto my cylinder, I am in fact drawing 20 mil above that. I'm gonna P for project, because I want that geometry in there. We'll turn off those bodies. And now I have access to the center point of my circle. So again, create rectangle, center rectangle. And that's gonna go out to maybe 30 mil, and we'll say eight mil. Finish sketch, and turn my bodies back on. So you can see now, if I zoom out, uh, we've got our profile drawn on a plane that is not attached to the cylinder. So now I'm going to put E for extrude, another eight centimeters, I'm going to hit OK. And we've nearly done. All that remains is to join these two together. You may wonder why I haven't made them hollow already. And that's because we're going to join these two bodies using the loft tool. Right, so it's in our 3D creation menu here, and notice a loft creates this transitional shape. Right, so I click on loft, select my two faces, and voila, it has beautifully joined them together. Fusion 360 is a parametric program that takes some parameters, some constraints, and then optimizes the geometry using some clever maths behind the scenes uh, to give you these beautiful results. So that's looking pretty good. Now I can hollow it out. Now what you'll find in Fusion 360 is there's lots of efficient ways of doing things and there's inefficient ways of doing things. Now we could do an offset through all of this and then hollow it out, but luckily we've got some shortcut tools like for instance, the shell tool and modify section. So your shell, you select the face, you decide what kind of hole you want to put in it. 
inside thickness we want to be three mil because that will fit our anna nozzle you're okay now from the top you notice it's punched through but from the bottom it's still closed that's easy fixed we're going to go back into our sketches turn on original sketch and just remember the profile we want is not just this one but also the top and once again we can extrude we can extrude up through the bottom there cut and now it's all hollowed out two little minor tweaks number one you'll notice that our hole at the top here got very narrow once again using the timeline we can go back in edit sketch and we can just make this a little bit wider to start with let's make it 10 mil once again it's updated so now we have a wider hole at the top there the last thing to do is to come over here and notice that we've got this chamfer at the end and a bit of filleting around the edge there so we could do that like we did with our tweezers or we can come up here modify chamfer and we just choose one of these edges we'll come in until it looks okay done and then to add that fillet f for fillet and we can select as many edges as you like and we just add a little fillet there at the end congratulations you've now completed your second project